you know, like what is the nature of creativity? And I think we should talk a bit about that. So please yeah. edit everything out. Yeah, uh, just, just lose of, it all. Yeah. We'll start again. <laughs> Confluence is uh, is quite exciting because it's the first time we're on stage together, but it's also very much about a, 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 co a common search for, for the creative spark and what exactly that is. I mean, you know, within the context of this, we're talking about everything from uh, Michelangelo's perspective that that the that his sculptures were actually in the stone or the Indian classical perspective, as musicians say, that the rag exists in the air around them. And they, they act as mediums for the rag to manifest itself. And I guess what we're trying to find is, is a connection with the idea that music and dance um, already exist and that we need to find them. And, and as a composer or a choreographer, um, you're constantly trying to find exactly what is the nature or the spark of that inspiration that leads you to want to express yourself in a certain way um, and, and wh where does that originate? And, and I guess we're, we're kind of, confluence is about our common, our common search for that and the, and the common search for identity as well. And I think to, to add to that, um, one of the things that we were both always very fascinated by was our identity and the sense of um, not just being boxed in but uh, exploring, um, uh, blurring the kind of edges of what, what one uh, sees you as. And, you know, whether he's a musician, um, but he's also an actor, he's a writer, uh, whether I'm a dancer, but I'm an actor or a musician to a certain, uh, to a certain extent. And for, for, for both of us, we've shared that in common, that we were always fascinated about stepping out of the box and not put it, being put in the box. And I think uh, some of the work that we show in it reflects that as well. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be... Um, well, well, we've actually found some uh, common meeting points where we're both going to use movement um, and we're using sound and, and music in different ways, but I think it's about using the whole kind of vocabulary that's open to us. And I've got, um, uh, so, uh, I think, eight or, eight or nine dancers uh, from my company uh, who are from completely different places in, in, on the planet. I mean, you know, so it's, it's just exciting to bring them back and and to work with live music it's always it's always uh, kind of laborious when you to a certain extent when you when you work with recorded music and then suddenly when you have live music it's 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 kind of like a blessing in a way there is a retrospective aspect to what we're doing i mean we're we're um using work that we've done before together um and you'll see that perform live but at the same time uh, there's also new work and new choreography and new ideas and uh, and we're still devising, actually, even now. You know, we're we're kind of constantly playing with what we have, and uh, I think that's what's good is that we're we're open to 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 you know playing with things all the time, and uh, and I don't think the piece is going to be finished until we're there in the, in the theatre.